Hello, uh, let's see here how do you render transparent glass using Arnold in uh, 3D Studio Max. You're concerned about the glass here, the glass there, uh, glass over here. This is presumably um, mental ray. So, how do we do that in, uh, in Arnold? Well, we do everything with Arnold, it's just a matter of setting it up correctly almost anything um, so let's see here let's build some some awesome awesome scene here I think I'm going with with something like this I'm going to raise these just a nuts so we don't get grain because the faces are intersecting okay so far so good so my plane I give a white material, just standard, uh, and uh, we want to composite something behind these three guys here, um, which will be our glass. So let's make a glass, and we're going to turn down the base color, spec glass fine, roughness there, let's see here, transmission, and uh, you need this one. Uh, read this text. It will transmit the uh, the, the uh, transmission uh, to the AOVs, uh, but also the alpha. But that's not the only step, um, because um, I'll show you. So let's pick some. Oh, let's pick some 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 map here. I'm going to take this one this is our background we should get some kind of render going now uh, we do so basically what we want is the um, first of all we want the, uh, the background to disappear uh, and then we want the background to disappear in the glass here uh, and just return an alpha value as you can see here the alpha value is solid so how do we fix that well it's very easy um, so once you have your map up here uh, we actually need to to guide uh, Arnold's uh, environment because right now it says use in scene environment that's not going to work use a color is not going to work but these two will work use a custom map and if you have none in the map as you can see here uh, the nothingness is returned in the alpha channel so pay attention this is the color this is the alpha and you can see here the reflections are going from the uh, the map out here so everything is working flawless and as you will see here the same with none so uh, you can just set the source to none and that's it um, so um, so let's see here, uh, let me go to uh, production render, let me go to here, here and do the same thing, none, I want a quick render, so, so we go like this, okay, so, um, so we have our, our image here, I'm going to push there, we have Photoshop opening up here just in a second there we go let's go here and 16 bit like this make a new layer I want a nice blue because I like blue I'm going to go like this and there we go um, so that's it and uh, as you can see here oh what am I doing oh, I'm painting with the blue great so as you can see here we have a perfect uh, transmission everything is working ace 
so uh, so that's it just remember to to set the background to none um, and custom map and of course always work an active shade life is too short to sit and render in uh, production because I can do this I can all my values here translate to the render directly so you are going to waste a huge amount of time if you work the old way this is our alpha custom color and and let's see here uh, if we then decide to let's see the role of this um, transmit AOV what that does we know the render settings and how it's going um, so let's find it transmit AOVs you can see here I can I can switch it on and off but that's not the only condition the second condition is that the background plate needs to be uh, reset so uh, that's it <coughs>